Exhale, bring the soles of the feet to the floor. That one hand rests on your heart, the other hand comes to your tummy. And here, it's bed of breath. So setting up the breath to set up the practice. I want you to observe your breath. And after a few breaths, and just noticing and feeling, noticing where in the body you feel it, is it the chest, is the tummy. Notice how much you can hear your breath. Notice how much air you feel go in and out through your nostrils. Notice if you've been urged even to open your mouth. So we're looking for a gentle breath. We want our breath to be proportionate to our movement. And while we're in this moment of rest, let the breath be soft, be gentle. As we move, we breathe deeper. Because as we move, we need more oxygen. We also burn, we also create more carbon dioxide. So we need to breathe bigger and maybe a bit faster. But for now, just enjoying the stillness and try and breathe so light and so soft that you can barely feel any air go in and out through the nose. Noticing just a gentle movement through the tummy. Maybe a soft pause after the exhale. And as we flow, the breath will grow. But we keep that nasal breathing and we keep this intense focus on the breath. And through controlling the breath, we kind of keep everything in check, keep everything in harmony, everything in balance. And if you notice yourself starting to mouth breathe throughout the practice, rein it in. It means that you might be pushing yourself a little bit too hard or a little bit too fast or strong. Same thing if you notice yourself holding your breath, rein it in come back to that consistent inhale and consistent exhale. So let's build that breath, breathing in for four through the nose, breathing out for four through the nose. Maybe adding a constriction at the back of the throat. This is your ujjayi breath. And that constriction helps us build heat in our body, but it also helps focus the mind and gives you that echograta, that single pointed focus, which is your breath. Now adjust your hands slightly so you bring them to the lower ribs. And notice the ribs expand and soften. Now breathing in. And on your next exhale, I want you to pull the lower, lower ribs together. And it should almost feel like someone's trying to tighten the corset around your waist. And there will be expansion as you breathe in, but keep that activation, keep that corseting action. We try and keep this as we flow. From here, keep all that intense focus on the breath, on that core sitting action through the waist, but gently open your eyes. And sometimes that can be the challenge once we bring that sense of sight back in, our mind may wander, we might get distracted. So if that happens, keep bringing it back. Let your left hand go out to the side, palm faces down. Push your heels into the floor firmly. Push your lower back into the floor firmly. Now keep that right arm reaches up to the sky. Shoulder blade presses down. Inhale in here. Exhale, lift shoulder, lift head, lift chest. Inhale, bring it down. 
and exhale, lift it up. So gentle rotation through the spine, activating through our deep core. Breathe in, let's do 10. Exhale, lift. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, keep pushing left hand down. Inhale. Exhale, lower back presses down. We've got seven more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Six. Five. Notice if the lower back is pulling up before, don't let it. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring the head down, bring the right arm down, sway your head from side to side just to release the neck. Now firming everything up again, heels down, lower back down, ribs in, left arm reaches up. So we use the first two just to kind of feel it and get it. You'll probably get it a bit quicker in the left and then we'll do 10. So inhale, push the shoulder blade down. Exhale, lift it up. So you're reaching high. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, reach up. Also protracting through the shoulder. Inhale down, let's do 10. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale. Eight. Seven. Six, lower back. Press heels down. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Good job, guys. Head down and let your arm go wide. Shake the head from side to side. So we're going to do one more thing here before we move on. Bring your hands to the back of your head, the nape of the neck. Let your elbows stay wide. So we're focusing on our thoracic helix. So we're trying to lift the chin and the chest and the head and keeping the elbows wide. So breathe in here. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale. Eight. Ribs in. Seven. Six. Chest lift. Shoulders lift. Five. Four. Three. Elbows wide. Two. And one. Good job, guys. Head down, let your arms go wide. You have to shake the head from side to side. Now pull the knees into the chest and let's rock and roll up and down the spine. Gather a little bit of momentum. Roll over the shins, press your hands down. Let's come back to our old forward face. I think most of us have warmed up our wrists, but just have to do a couple of just rocking back and forth here, spreading fingers, active through shoulders. So rolling biceps forward, triceps back. Looking for that internal rotation, sorry, external rotation through the upper arm. Now from here, finding a neutral spine, ribs in, navel in, dropping the chest down to retract the shoulder blades. And exhale, push the floor away, protract as much as you can until you find that stretch between the shoulder blades. Inhale, retract. So notice this is not cat cow. Exhale, retract. Now we're going to do 10, and even option of doing them with your knees down. Or maybe lift the knees, or maybe you can do half, half. Inhale, retract. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, drop chest. Exhale, lift. Even more beautiful, guys. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, push. Nice, Kate. Inhale, exhale. And we've got five more. Inhale, squeeze them together. Imagine you've got a cherry in between your shoulder blades, you're trying to squeeze it, and then push like something scary is on the floor and you want to try and move away from it. And let's do three more. Keeping your arms straight so it's just the shoulder that we're working here. And then when you're done, drop your knees, come into your child's pose. Take a breath, breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, come forward into your all fours again. Exhale, bring your right foot out to the side so your right foot is in line with your left knee. And let's do some cat cows here. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round the spine, push the floor away. Inhale, arch, just trying to get into that right hip. Exhale, round. 
Let's do five more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Four. Three. So using your retraction for retracting, arch the back, bring your shoulder blades together. Exhale, round, chin to chest, push the floor away. Two. Send your left bum, or your bum, back to your left heel, not your left bum. Reach your hands forward, keeping that right leg wide. Just going deeper into almost like a half split. One more breath. Then rising up, come forward. Bring that right knee back in. Breathing in here. And exhale, send your left leg out to the side. Cat cows, inhale, arch. Exhale, right. Inhale, arch. Exhale, right. And let's do five more. Inhale, squeeze shoulder blades and pull the shoulders to the hips. Exhale, navel to spine, round through the front. We've got four more. Three. Two. And one. And then send your bum back to your right heel. Let your arms reach out in front. So keep it protracted. So protract it through the shoulder blades. Externally rotation through the shoulders and through the upper arms. And then we're back. Inhale, ripple forward again. Exhale, bring your left knee in line with your right. Send your hips up and back down with facing dog. Pedaling here just for a moment. And then when you're ready, inhale, come to tiptoes. Exhale, tiptoe feet to hands. Placing your feet behind the wrists. And then eyes closed, bend your knees deeply and roll up through the spine, stacking bone on bone, moving with intention and with focus and with breath. We're going to adhere to that to your mountain pose, toes touch, heels a little bit apart, palms face forward, squeezing in and thighs, feel your stability, pull your hip bones towards your lower ribs. Hugging your lower ribs together, the Yangada. Lifting through the pelvic floor, squeezing the sit bones together. Feeling that strength and that stability coming from within you. And carrying that with you throughout the practice. Breathing in together. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Open the eyes. Inhale, arms slow high to the sky. Gaze up. Exhale, swan dive. We lean, hinging at the hips. Hands to the floor. Push the floor away here as you bring your chin to your chest. Halfway lift. Maybe fingertips down. Work hands to shins. Your knees choice. Exhale, fold it down. You ripple. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, full Uttanasana, and in every Uttanasana, try and push down, feel it in the shoulders. One more like that, breathing in. Exhale, breathing out. Then inhale, come halfway up, planting the palms, step back to plank. Optional, knee down as always, we rock forward. Exhale, Chaturanga. Straighten the arms. Exhale, Chaturanga. One more, inhale. Now we're going to add in double chaturanga today. Exhale, chaturanga. So keeping your toes tucked, inhale, up dog. Squeeze the glutes. Exhale, back into chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, down facing dog. Breathe in, plank. 
breathing out. And as you roll your biceps up, hun, triceps down. Let your hands go wider if you need to. Tip toes inhale. Exhale, bend your knees. Step to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Arms float high to the sky, gaze up. Exhale, swan dive in into the toes, push the floor away. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms set back. Rock forward, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga, shoulders out in front. Inhale, straighten so the whole body moves as one. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, straighten, keep pushing. Exhale, bend, keep the toes tucked, back into up dog, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, to find you can drop your knees if you need to for that bit, guys. Exhale, bend your back. Breathing in for one. Breathing out. Keep pushing, lengthening through the torso. Visualize your spine growing longer. Tiptoes inhale, bend your knees, step up or float feet to hands. Halfway lift, lean and look forward. Exhale, fold it down, push the floor away. Arms float high to the sky, breathe in, ride the breath. Exhale, last surya A, hands to the floor, push. Half lift or plant the palms and lean this way. And step or jump back straight into chaturanga, keeping the toes tucked, up dog, inhale. Back into chaturanga, exhale, shoulders go out in front, bend the elbows. Now push the floor away into your plank, down the facing dog. Beautiful guys, breathing in for one. Breathing out. Two. Try and roll the outer edges of your armpit down towards the floor and then squeeze them in towards one another. So hollowing out your armpits. Inhale to tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees, step, hop, or jump, feet to hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, push the floor away. Into chair pose, breathing in. Exhale, lift your heels off the floor by just an inch. Sit your bum back. Can you bend a little bit deeper? Breathing in. Breathing out. Now on three, we're going to bring our bum to our heels, maybe our heels to our bum. So three, two, one, amazing guys. Bring your hands to the floor. Now we're going to play with a little asana variation. So it's almost like an uttanasana, but more intense. So working on that pushing action. So you press your hands down, lean forward, start to straighten the legs, but keep your knees bent so they're hugged right into the chest. Now push your shoulders up to your ears and lean into your fingertips. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, bring the bum down towards the heels. Now we're going to do a one leg variation, but if that feels too intense, stay with both feet down. So lifting the left foot this time, breathe in, start to lift the hips, hug that left knee, or knee to chest, heel to bum. Five, lean forward, four, three, two, one, bring the left foot down, bum down. One breath to recover. Then straighten the arms, shoulders to ears, right heel to bum. Hug both knees in. Five, four, three, two, one. Right foot down, bum down. Inhale back into your chair pose. Amazing, guys. Exhale, hands to the floor. Push the floor away. Half lift, breathe in or plant the palms with the knees. Float back or step back, chaturanga. Up dog, keeping toes tucked. Back into Chaturanga, elbows bent to 90. Push the floor away, down the facing dog. Right leg floats up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. 
Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, send your right leg high again. Exhale, knee to nose, place the foot down between the hands. Back knee drops. Anjanyasana for the first round. Arms float up to the sky. On your exhale, bring your hands down, step back, chaturanga. Up dog, breathing in. Back to chaturanga, breathe out. Plank on the inhale. Down, facing dog. Left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, and push the floor away. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, place the foot down between the hands, back knee drops. Arms flow high. Exhale, right knee lifts, hands down. Bend your elbows as you step back, keeping the toes tucked for up dog. Back into Chaturanga. Plank on the inhale. Downward dog, exhale, three breaths. Notice your breath when you come back to downward dog. Has it become erratic? Have you lost it throughout the flow? And it's not about judging these things, it's just about noticing them and through building that awareness, we can become more present, understand our patterns. Inhale to tiptoes. Bend your knees, step or jump feet to hands. Half lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold it down. Chair pose, breathe in, arms reach up, bend your knees. Same, same, exhale, lift your heels off the floor by just an inch. Can you sit your bum back and down, breathing in? Exhale. So on three, bring your bum low, two. Good job, one. Bring your hands to the floor out in front. Same, same. The last one, a variation. Inhale, lean. Straight arms, push shoulders up to ears, hips high. Try to lean into your fingertips. So step even further forward for five. Yeah, almost like you're trying to come into a straight arm crow. Four. Push, push, three. Two, one, and bring the bum down, recover. Breathe in, shake out your wrist if you need to. Breathing out. I know this one's intense. Now then, same, same. You can either do the same, or both feet down, or pull left heel to bum. So hands down, knees to chest, lean into fingertips, left heel to bum for five, four, three, two, one. Left foot down, three. Then right side to lift the thumb, right heel to bum, lean forward, five, four, three, Two, one, right foot down, bum down. Bring the back of the hands together, just decompress for a breath, breathing in, breathing out. Let's play with our crow pose, hands down, knees resting on the back of the upper arms. Come into the yogic squat if you don't want to do your crow. For five, squeezing heels to bum, leaning into the fingertips, Trusting all that activation that we've just been doing, all that strength that you have within you. Now, if you want to float back, you can. Otherwise, inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, float chaturanga. Up dog, breathing in. Exhale, back chaturanga. Push the floor away, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg floats up to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, bend your left knee. So keep the right leg super straight and strong. Inhale, straighten left leg. Exhale, bend your left knee deeper. Inhale, straighten, keep the ribs in. And exhale. Now pop your left foot in a little bit and maybe try a couple of hands down hops. If you don't want to try that, you can stay in your three legged dog. Come knee to nose, place the foot down between the hands. We're going to come into high lunge. If you want to try the scissor kick to bring the right foot down, come into your hands down, then switch the leg so the right foot comes down, left foot comes back. And you can take your time. We're all going to be in downward dog eventually, anyway. So arms float up on the inhale, high lunge. On the exhale, hands come down, come through your vinyasa. So chaturanga, up dog. 
You can skip back to double chaturangas if you want to. Exhale, maybe back to chaturanga. Plank, straighten your legs, Lucy, in that one. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg lifts, breathe in. Exhale, bend your right knee. And I know it might feel uncomfortable, but try and go low. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend deep. Good job, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend deep. Now inhale, straighten, hop your leg in a touch, then bend and do those three little handstand hops. Or don't even think about them as handstand hops, just think about them as hops, of ways of taking weight out of the feet and into the hands. That's very good, guys, well done. And then the left foot comes forward, right foot back, high lunge. Lucy, you can go straight down into your vinyasa. So you don't need to wait for me in that bit, guys. Up dog. Optional second chaturanga. To plank. Downward dog. Breathe in for one. Breathing out. Two. Three. Inhale to tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or float, feet to hands. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, breathing in. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor. Now optional half lift or optional crow, just as a transition. And from here, step or jump back to plank or jump to chaturanga. So you step to plank and jump chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Breathing out. Inhale, right leg floats up to the sky. Optional handstand hop if you want to. Exhale, knee to nose. Push the floor away, protract. Place the foot down between the hands. Arms float to the sky, breathing in. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, retract, squeeze shoulder blades. Exhale, hug it all in to round in the upper back. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it in. One more inhale, open the chest. Exhale, bring it in. Now inhale, bring both hands down to your right thigh, chin to chest, look towards your navel, bend your right knee deeply, and I want you to push with your hands as hard as you can. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. One more here. Now inhale, back into your high lunge. Exhale, open at warrior two. Feel your stability in the posture. Feeling your alignment, right heel to left inner arch or left heel. Rowing right inner thigh to the sky. Navel to spine, pulling up through the torso and drawing the lower ribs in. Strong through the arms, gaze over the middle finger. Breathing in here. Breathing out. One more. On your inhale, windmill the hands down to frame the right leg, step back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Back into Chaturanga. Plank. Downward dog. Left leg lifts. Exhale. Knee to nose. Keep pushing the floor away as you place the left foot down between the hands. Arms float up. Right hip pushes floor forward. Stable through the hips. Exhale. Cactus. Inhale. Open. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale. The breath should help here, but keep knitting the ribs. Exhale, bring it in. One more inhale, open. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, bring both hands down to your left thigh and push. So we're looking for that protraction that we've been doing through the shoulders. Ribs in, round into the upper back, chin to chest. Sending that right hip forward by squeezing and pushing through the right glutes. 
two more breaths. One more. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, warrior two. So here for five breaths. Notice if there's a part of the body that tends to switch off for you in this posture. For me, it's my back quad. Can you pull up through that right quad? Keep pulling the left knee towards the left baby toe. Feeling that strength and stability through the shoulders. And with all of that going on, can you find a sense of softness through the face? One more breath. From here, inhale, windmill the hands down to frame the left leg. Step back, chatter again. Up dog, chaturanga, plank, downward facing dog, right side again, inhale, right leg floats up, exhale, knee to nose, keep pushing the floor away, place the foot down, inhale, arms reach up to the sky, exhale, straight into our warrior two, left heel down, breathing in here, Breathing out. Inhale, reaching that right arm forward, right hand comes inside the thigh. Exhale, left arm reaches overhead. Breathing in. Breathing out. Using your right arm to open through that right hip and try and have no weight in the right arm. So the right arm is acting as a hip opener rather than taking your upper body weight. Nice adjustment, Kate. One more breath. Two options. Option one is staying here. Option two is reaching the right arm overhead, ribs in, trying to spiral the chest up towards the sky. Breathing in, breathing out. And again. Feel the burn, feel whatever you're feeling in this moment. Let it be okay. Remind yourself that you're super strong, you've got this. Now on your inhale, Spiral that left heel up, bring your hands down, step back, high to low plank. Up dog, keeping toes tucked, we're going to build each round. Back into Chaturanga, push the floor away, and downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Left leg lifts, inhale. As you come forward, squeeze that left heel to bum, push the floor away, place the foot down. High lunge, breathing in. Open up warrior two, breathing out. Stay here for a breath, inhale. Exhale. Now the legs don't change, reach that left arm forward, left elbow inside the thigh, right arm overhead, straight line. Find the spiraling action through the the torso without letting the ribs flare. Getting yourself into the position. Notice if you're craning your neck. I often do, I send my chin forward. It's because I'm in a hurry to go places. So try and bring the chin back in. There we go. Almost like you're trying to give yourself a double chin. Now reach the left arm overhead. This is option two, option one, stay where you are. And we're here for another few breaths. And through it all, Keep the breath. The breath comes first. The breath is how we find our stamina. One more here. So on your inhale, spiral the right heel high, bring your hands down to frame the left leg. Step back, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Back into chaturanga. Plank. Down your facing dog. Take a breath. Right side again, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, place the foot down between the hands. High lunge, breathing in. Exhale, open out warrior two. Inhale, reach your right arm forward. Exhale, extended side angle pose. Breathing in. And exhale, reach your right arm overhead. 
Good job, breathing in here. And as you exhale, spiral the left heel up, left hand down, right arm reaches up to the sky. Inhale, open the right arm out, open the chest out. Exhale, bring your right hand down inside the right foot. Now here, it's almost like you're trying to peel your right hand up against your arm, your body. Open the chest and the right hand back. Exhale, bring it in. Pulling the tummy in, ribs in, inhale. Exhale. One more of these, breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, send your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, stack your right leg on top of the left leg. Side plank. And take your version of side plank here. So there's no right or wrong. If you want to keep it simple for the first round, you can do that. One more breath. Amazing, guys. Inhale, right hand down. Exhale through your chaturanga. Up dog with toes tucked. Squeeze glutes. Exhale, chaturanga. Plank, breathing in. Notice that this is getting easier. Exhale, downward dog as you're building the muscle memory. Left leg lifts, breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose, place the foot down between the hands. High lunge, keeping it smooth, keeping it flowing. Exhale, open out warrior two. Breathing in here, breathing out. Inhale, reach the left arm forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Breathe in. Exhale, reach left arm overhead. Breathing in. Exhale, right heel up. Right hand down, left arm reaches up to the sky. Easy twist. Inhale in here, open the chest, turn and look behind you. Exhale, left hand comes down. Notice if your right glutes have switched off. Switch them back on. Straighten that leg. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring it down. Hugging your inner thighs. Inhale. Exhale. So it's moving through mud, and that resistance helps us build our mobility. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it down. Now on this one, inhale, we open. Exhale, outer edge of right foot, step the left foot back, side plank. Banana. So what I mean by that is send your hips up high, and it's not just about sending the top hip high, try and focus on sending the bottom hip high as well by pressing into the outer edge of that right foot. Amazing, guys. Two more here. And on your inhale, bring that left arm down, vinyasa. Up dog, you choose your vinyasa. Amazing. One breath here. Right leg lifts, maybe try the handstand hop. Exhale, right foot comes between the hands. Good job. Rise up, inhale. Open, warrior two, exhale. Inhale, reach your right arm forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Breathing in here. Exhale, reach the right arm overhead. Breathe in. Exhale, easy twist, left hand down, right arm up. This time, going to side plank, breathing in. You choose your variation, maybe lifting the right knee up to the sky, breathing out. Maybe grab hold of the right foot, the right big toe, or the shin. One more breath. Then everyone lift up that right leg if it's not already off the ground, bend the knee, and place that right foot behind the left thigh. Inhale, drop the bum low, reach your right arm to the left foot, Exhale, kick the hips up. Inhale, so working into those glutes, that left glutes, reach them down, reach forward. Exhale, rise up. Three more. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale. Two. And one. 
Then inhale, pull that right knee up towards the chest. Look at your left thumb and exhale, place the right foot there. Inhale, straighten right leg. Exhale, fold. Breathing in. Breathing out. Two. Three. Now press into the hands. Try and keep that right leg straight, but if you'd have to bend the knee, no stress. Sweep that right leg up to the sky. Exhale, look forward. Coming through a turbo dog variation, hover the knee, or sorry, hover the elbows off the floor and bring the elbows all the way down. Now you've got a bunch of options. Option one, bring your right foot down, stay in dolphin. Option two, do dolphin press ups with both feet down. Option three, right leg lifts, dolphin press ups. So forward and back. And then if you want to, once you've done your five, take it straight upside down into your upside down posture, whatever that may be. I don't want to be descriptive. If it's headstand, if it's crow, if it's maybe downward dog, maybe it's pinch or maybe it's handstand. And you've got five breaths. But if you want to do rest pose, of course, guys, be my guest. Yes, Steph, keep trying to lean, yeah. So bend that bottom leg just a tiny bit more, trust the lean and use your glutes on the top leg, so the right leg in this case, to drag your hips over. You pretty much have it, there was very little jumping there. I'm just using all that shoulder strength. And when we're ready, guys, we can take it down. You've got another moment. Breathing in, breathing out. One more breath wherever you're at. Let's come back into our downward dog. Inhale, start to make your way there. Exhale, you're there. Left leg floats up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, place the foot down between the hands. High lunge, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Inhale, reaching out in front. Exhale, extend in side angle. Breathing in here. Exhale, reach the left arm overhead. Inhale. Exhale, easy twist. Inhale here. Exhale, come into your side plank variation, whatever you did on the other side. Breathing in, banana, maybe grab the foot, the shin. Two more breaths. Maybe reaching the arm overhead. Now we're here together. If you haven't done it already, lift that left foot off the right, pull the knee up, and place the left foot to the floor behind you. So the ball of the left foot is down. Inhale, drop your hips low, reach that hand to the right foot. Exhale, kick it all up, using your back body muscles here. Inhale, bring it down. Thumb is strong. Exhale, lift. Three more. Inhale, low. Exhale, rise. Two. And one. Back into your side plank. Breathe in. Lift that left knee up to the sky. Pull it towards the tricep. Then pull the thigh into the tummy as the left foot comes down. Amazing, left hand drops down, straighten left leg, breathe in. Exhale, fold over that left leg. Get into the hamstring. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more here. Now look up, push. The more you push, the more space you have to sweep that left leg up. So hands down, try and sweep that left leg straight up to the sky into your three-legged dog. Amazing, guys. Exhale, bend your elbows, look forward, bring the elbows down. So doing whatever you did on the other side. We rock forward, we rock back. Embracing the challenge, embracing the intensity, 
doing your level and whatever's right for your body. But just reminding ourselves that it is temporary. And then rest if you need to rest. Go upside down if you want to go upside down. Take this as your time. This is your moment. Steph, do you want to look over for a second? So I can't see your top leg entirely, so maybe you are doing this, I just can't see. But walk in as much as you can. Top leg this, bend that knee. So by bending that knee, you're going to recruit your hamstrings more, and that will help you get the hips up. So recruit the hamstrings, lean a little bit forward. And once you feel that right foot coming off the floor, you need to adjust your shoulders back. So lean, hips are up, shoulders move back. And you can either bend that bottom knee or keep it straight. It's really up to you. And then take it down, guys, if you want to rest. Yeah, that's it, Steph. That's it. Push your shoulders back over your elbows to adjust. That's good. Breathing in and let it all go, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more breath. So we're gonna do one more round, just mixing it up a little bit at the end. Good job, guys. Breathing in, come forward to plank and however you want to get back into your downward dog is your least choice. You guys are awesome. I'm still seeing everyone do the double chatter angles. <laughs> right leg lifts up to the sky. Breathing in. Maybe hands down half or not, no stress. Exhale, knee to nose, face the foot down. Arms floating up, breathe in. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Right arm reaches forward, inhale. Exhale, extend in side angle. You've got the full breath for every movement. Breathe in. Exhale, right arm reaches overhead. Enjoying the transitions, breathe in. Exhale, left heel lifts, left hand down. Right arm up to the sky. Inhale, start to come onto the outer edge of the left foot, pulling the right knee up to the sky. Exhale, place the right foot to the floor behind you. Hips drop low, right arm reaches to left foot. Let's kick the hips up. Exhale. Inhale, come back through your side plank. So right knee lifts, pull it forward, come onto the toes. Exhale, right foot down. Inhale, straighten through the right leg. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, bend, let your right knee come forward. One more, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Now inhale, right arm reaches back up to the sky, open the chest out. And exhale, right hand comes inside the right foot. Now we're gonna come into lizard pose. We can either stay here, or we can start playing with our arm balance here, or kundinyasana B. But let's all just spend a moment rocking back and forth in our lizard. Breathing in, breathing out. If you're ready, place your right shoulder underneath the right leg. Right hand comes up behind and slightly out to the right of your right foot. Left hand is in line with right, lean out in front, send your right leg forward. Let the weight drop into the left leg, left leg lifts. Or sorry, let the weight drop into the left elbow, left leg lifts. If you find that that right foot is getting stuck, you need to send it out in front. So you need to lift the right foot off the floor. I'll show you what I mean. So if the foot gets stuck here, before you lean out in front, you need to lift up the foot, place it over, let the weight drop down into the left arm, left leg lifts. And then from here, you can step back or float back through your vinyasa. And facing dog or come through your double chaturangas. Breathing in. Breathing out. 
left leg lifts high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, place the foot down. Arms flow high, breathe in. Exhale, open out warrior two. Inhale, reach the arm forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Take a breath, spiral the chest open. Exhale, left arm reaches overhead, feeling your stability. Inhale here. Exhale, easy twist, right hand down, left arm reaches up to the sky. Inhale, come onto the outer edge of the left foot, maybe even start to hover the foot up, or right, left foot up. Exhale, bring the foot behind you. Yeah. Inhale, drop the hips low, reach your arm back. Exhale, kick the hips up. Inhale through your side plank again, pulling that left knee up to the sky. Exhale, place the left foot at the top of the mat. Bring that left hand down, start to straighten that left leg. Exhale, we bend the left knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. One more, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Right hand down, inhale, left arm reaches up to the side, open the chest to head. Exhale, bring your left hand down inside the foot. Start rocking back and forth, getting deeper into that left hip. Hopefully it feels quite open from the flow. Or maybe testing your edge a little bit more. And then of course, option to stay here, this is perfect. Or if you want to play with the arm balance. Left shoulder or left all that really matters is it's above the elbow. So from somewhere from your shoulder to your elbow, that needs to kind of come under the thigh. Hands are in line. Do what you need to do to get that left foot off the floor. So maybe it's the knee is bent and it's the, the bent knee that you're resting on the tricep. And then lean forward, maybe let your right arm take the weight. And then step or float back through your vinyasa. So I'm going to show you guys a different way into that pose where we can use a little bit of momentum. Breathing in, breathing out. Right leg sweeps up to the sky. Bring your right knee to your right upper arm. Then start to lean forward, finding chaturanga arms. And rest your right leg on your right tricep. Lean forward, let your chest go forward to find the counterbalance. I'll show you guys what I mean. So if you want to take a second, I might just need to do wrist break. So we use the momentum here. Come forward, right arm, or sorry, right leg, rest on right arm. If I stay back here, it's no way I can balance. So I need to bend my elbows so I chatter around the arms. Look forward and find the balance. And then Come back into your downward dog, you can come through vinyasa, you can float. So let's try and do that together. We'll do right leg and then we'll do left leg again. So that was, Lucy, that was pretty much it. Try and go forward with the head more. So right leg lifts, then come forward, use the momentum to try and get rid of that pause just before the right leg meets the right arm. Good job. And then we make sure we do both sides. So take a breath if you need to. And then left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee, left arm. Nice. Claire, I think, because all I can see is your surname, O'Shea. Good job. <laughs> Good job, guys. And then when you're done, just take it down. Take it down into kneeling or a child's pose. And just breathe for a moment. And just observe. Notice what you've done. Notice how you feel. It's been an hour of one breath, one movement practice. So notice your heart rate. Notice the stimulating nature of the practice. Use your breath to calm things down and to slow things down. And 
when you're ready, coming forward into all fours. And let's come all the way down to our tummies. Sending your right arm right to the side into half T. Press your left hand into the floor. Roll onto the side of you. So when we do all that protraction work, I was going to say, if this doesn't feel like very much for you, try practicing the arm. So bending your elbow at 90 degrees and having your elbow at 90 degrees shoulder. And play around with what works for your anatomy, what works for your structure, your flexibility. So just to counter all of that pushing that we've been doing, and that hollowing out of the chest, and that contraction of the muscles through the chest, like the pectoral muscles, we just we use this time and space to counter it a little bit. To bring balance. And then let's release and roll on to the other side. And again, do you any adjustments that you feel like you need? And from here, rolling onto the tummy, press your hands underneath your shoulders, keep your knees down, toes tucked, send your bum back towards your heels, child's pose. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, come forward into your all fours, pull your knee to your nose, your right knee to your nose, and place the right foot down between the hands. And let your knee come forward. You can either stay here if this is enough of a stretch in your left hip flexor, or rise up, pressing both hands into the right thigh. And using this to stretch out, lifting the chest, leaning back. And try to rise up, tucking your tailbone under as much as you can. And just let your chin drop and your head drop and just finding the hip flexor stretch this way. And it feels counterintuitive that we're shortening or it feels like we're shortening the front of the body to find that stretch through the front of the body, but just notice it and try and find it. So you might need to shorten your shoulders in. One more breath. And slowly rising up, release your hands down. And send your right knee back, your right knee, your right foot back, bum to heels, child's pose, pose. Breathing in, breathing out. On your inhale, come forward, picking up that left knee, bring the knee into the chest, and place the foot down. Same thing. Just kind of three. Rising up, squeezing the right glutes to help aid the stretch. And then rising up again, pull the hips back, try and tuck your tailbone under, drop the head down and do what you need to do to find that stretch in the front of the right hip. Two more breaths. And rising up. With the head, bring the hands down and step back and into child's pose. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, come forward to all fours. Exhale, come back down onto the tummy. 
And let your elbows go in front of into the space pose. And just for the first few breaths, let it be passive. So let your bones go soft, let your legs go soft. And just see where your body gets to. Having maybe a bit of tension through the fingers and through the arms as you try to drag your body forward. And from here, strengthen the legs, strengthen the glutes. Notice the difference. Draw the lower ribs in, even as you try and drag your body forward. Bending your right knee, squeeze your right heel to thumb. Working into that right hamstring, squeeze as much as you can for five, four, three, two, one. Lift up that right knee. We're trying to pull the left or push the left hip down. Five, four, squeeze in at five, three, two, one, and bring it down. Bring the right foot down, wiggle, sway. You need to lift the hips a little bit or lift the tummy just to release through the lower back. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. So plant the hands, plant the elbows, push the floor away, drag the body forward, scroll through the bones, through the quads, bend your left knee. So squeeze your heels to bum here, or so your left heel to bum, squeeze your inner thighs. Four, three, two, one. Try and pull the shoulder blades back, lift the knee, squeeze inner thighs again, push the right hip down. Five, four, Three, two, one, and bring it down. Let your legs go soft. Maybe make a pillow for your head and your hands as the elbows go wide. And then rising up again, back into your sphinx pose. This time, let your left hand go a little bit, the left arm go a little bit diagonal, so the hand is in front of your face. Squeeze the right heel to bum. Back stroke. The right arm back, grab hold of the right foot. Now pull the right heel down towards the right outer hip. And try and push your right shoulder forward. So you're stretching through the front head of the shoulder here. You're also stretching through your quad. So option one will be staying here for a bit longer. Option two is trying to push your right foot into your right hand and lift your right knee as high as you can. Look forward and let this be an opener through the chest a strengthener through the glutes as you lift the leg up high. An opening maybe through the quad and the hip flexor. Lift the head, lift the chest, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Rest in between, so let your elbows go wide, head down. And rising up when you're ready, press into the hands, elbows in, right hand in front of the face, squeeze left heel to bum, sweep left arm back, press left heel down towards left outer hip. So squeezing the inner thighs. And then option to stay or push left foot into left hand. Externally rotate through that left arm. So rolling the bicep up to the ceiling. For five, four, three, two, one, and take it down. Good job guys, breathing in. Breathing out. Pressing your hands underneath your shoulders, send your bum back towards your heels. Enjoy this child's pose. And being here for a few breaths to feel the release. To decompress through the lower back. And I'm going to let you guys choose. We're going to end the practice with an inversion. And we're going to try and stay in that inversion for two minutes. So it can be a headstand. I know that might sound scary, but if you have to come down, do come back up again. If you want to stay in a tuck, 
do that too. And the reason I'm just giving you two minutes is by spending that long upside down, it just helps kind of calm down the nervous system. So a headstand is probably preferable for a pinch up, which will probably elevate you a bit more. If you want to do shoulder stand, that's the other option. So jump through, lay down on your back. You can even just have your feet vertical, or your legs rather, or come into shoulder stand. If you want to do a headstand, use all the stability in the shoulders that we've been cultivating through the practice. So elbows are underneath shoulders, not slightly narrower. Clasp the hands, tuck in the, top, the little finger on the right hand. Bring the top of the head down to the floor, so not the hairline. Lift the knees, walk the feet in. Now press your elbows down more. Hug your right knee to chest, right heel to bum, and maybe start to stick the bum out to get the left leg up. Tuck, ribs in, bum strong, legs strong, squeezing inner thighs to rise up. Then once you're there, just find one point to look at with your eyes. Notice if your breath has become short again, can you elongate the breath? And just remind yourself that you're solid, that you're stable. Case. You have it. So breathe, believe, and instead of thinking that you're going to come down, just know that you can stay up. Keep pressing into those elbows. Bring one heel to bum, now bring the other heel to bum. Yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it. Trust that, trust it. Good job. Breathe, awesome. So 20 more breaths. If you wanna add on a little bit, if you're in headstand, maybe start to pike and stay there for the last 10. Just recognizing the counterbalance. Building that control. Understanding where your hips need to be in space. And then when you're ready, start to make your way down. So if you're in headstand, your counter is child's pose. If you're in shoulder stand, come into plow first and then roll down. The counter is fish pose. So elbows down, chest lift, squeeze elbows together. Coming back to that breath that we started with. And it might take a few moments to get there as you calm everything and slow everything. If it helps, maybe rest your hands on your tummy. So that effortless breath. So soft. 
feet and barely feel any air moving in and out through the nose. And what might happen as you breathe this soft and slow breath is you might almost feel like you need to take a gasp for air. But you don't. And we can train ourselves to reduce our sensitivity to carbon dioxide. So that need for the gasp of air or that feeling like we need that gasp of air actually comes from the build of carbon dioxide in the system, not through needing the oxygen. And the more we can build that resistance in a healthy and suitable way to our fitness, to our stamina, it helps build our overall stamina and our overall fitness. It helps us optimize our oxygenation of our system. gentle breath. And guys, I recommend that you stay here for another few minutes, feeling the breath, and then when you're ready to go about the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.